Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. <sighs> this is, and this is your sweet baby brother, 30 under 30, media luminary, Griffin McElroy. Did we, catch, uh, you, did we catch you mid-yawn, Griffin? You did catch me mid-yawn. That was not a, that was not a goof. Although I do want to talk about the, the, you know, the big DST, the big elephant in the room, the fact that the, the, we're not saving daylight anymore, or we are now. I forget which. We one no it. longer are. We've we've done away with the shackles of that <sighs> terrible, terrible policy. I looked at the daylight that we had, and I said, "I'm good. I'm all right. I feel like I have too much daylight. One hour's worth of it. So let's just. It's two o three p.m. Texas time right now, and my body feels like it's. 11 30 p.m and i know it's like not we didn't jump that far but it still like sucks so bad like all of this this whole thing sucks so bad and i was wondering i had a, I, I had an idea um after my second nap today and i was i was hoping you all would hear me out and maybe we could spread the word about it and maybe get something going we've gotten okay. lots of things going in this show um you know, we brought back camo cargo shorts of uh, back in the summer of 2013, and that was very cool. Um, and I was hoping maybe we could do this. So, I had this idea for t- new time, how mm-hmm. time would do it from from now on. This and is such a big idea. I need to sit back down. Why Wait, were you standing? You're standing up. That's weird. I got. I was standing because I was getting ready to disagree with Griffin, and then I sat back down because I just need to listen. You you were doing it in like sort of the 1776 style where you had to stand up and, you know, tap your cane against the. Here's the idea. I saw an elderly man come to my table and I was trying to be polite. Sure. You wake up in the morning. All right. Alarm gives out a warning. You don't think you're going to make it on time. Parents just don't understand. Okay. You wake up in the morning and it's 930. So that's the first step of it. You wait. You wake up in the morning, and it's just it is nine thirty. Well, I'm hooked so far, Griffin. Now reel me in. So not because nine thirty is like a bet a really good one. Because if you wake up at nine thirty, it's like whoa, I slept in so late. I feel gr- I feel great. I feel so energized. But also, there's still a lot of the morning left, and the you know the day's still right in front of you because it's nine thirty, and it stays nine thirty. Until, I I mean, you probably eat a little something right then, right? And then the next time you get hungry, that's a time that I'm just going to call lunchtime. The lunchtime. All right. So if I'm, I want to make sure I'm keeping up with new time. Wake up. I feel like a punchier title would be. McElroy time. Griffin time. McElroy time. time. Griffin time. Griffin time. Stop. Griffin time. Okay. Uh, I love how quickly you cut us out of of that in case this is a landmark sort of moment. So you wake up and- it's to protect you two because it could also be, it could also blow up right in my face. So you wake up and it's 930. Mm. Is it 930 because that's when you woke up? Or does everybody say- That's what wake up time is, you know? That's just what wake up time is. 930. Oh, what a good- Holy shit, I haven't slept (laughs) on 930 in a long time, but I still have a lot of my day left over. I'll have a bowl of cereal. To nail it down, whatever time you- When you wake up, yeah, it is nine thirty. It is yeah. not nine thirty, and you wake up. You wake up. That is automatically nine thirty. Yes, I'm so Choice. glad you're with me. And then you're hungry again after the breakfast, and now it's just lunchtime, and we don't need to give that a number. And then as soon as you finish the last bite, the last scrumptious morsel of whatever it is you're having during this midday meal, it's not lunchtime anymore, and it's immediately four twenty. And it doesn't. You don't have to be. <laughs> Okay. I'm not encouraging drug use at this time. It's just that's it would be that's fun. the next biggest milestone. It's well, it's just funny. Yeah, it's just very funny. So wake up nine thirty breakfast. I'm hungry again. Now it's lunch time. Oh, I can't talk on the phone right now. It's lunch time. I'll call you back at four twenty. And you fit home sandwich gone. Okay, now it's four twenty, and it's now gonna it's stay. It's gonna stay four twenty until it just gets dark. And then when it's dark, it's seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. Because it's seven o'clock, that's a decent lunch hour. Also, depending on what time zone you live, and by the way, time zones are not—they don't exist anymore in this sort of <laughs> okay. thing. But uh, the TV, the televisions about the you know the good shows are about to start because it's seven o'clock. And seven o'clock, you know, you eat whenever you feel like it. And then when you get sleepy, it's two a.m. 
and it's like, <laughs> oh hell Whoa. yeah, I'm yeah, partying. It's, now it's two a.m. Well, oh, no, you party during seven. When it's two a.m., it's like, oh, okay, I should really crash because it's you know I've got a long day ahead of me. Oh, this is great because two a.m. It's not. Mm, I think I should go to bed. It's why haven't I gone to bed yet? The yeah, responsible thing is to go to bed now. Two a.m. is you feel good about how much you've partied tonight and mm-hmm. also you know like oh i'm gonna get that good sleep and you know that you're gonna get seven and a half hours of sleep uh, yeah because you're gonna wake up at 9 30 the next morning you now, I'm, trying to, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to envision the clock in my head at yeah. the top of the clock it says 9 30 <laughs> yes <laughs> okay and then if you go down the clock some yeah and you also, my- just to be clear, have to manually turn this dial on the clock because you the wake clock, up at right. nine thirty, eat breakfast, and then you reach up and you turn the clock to lunchtime. It's more of a yeah. progress chart for and yourself, it's, and 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 get, it's not going to stay on lunchtime very long. It's just how long it takes you to eat the sandwich or bagel or soup or you know whatever. And now it's four twenty, and you you're going to show your watch to all your friends and be like, <laughs> get it, and you'll be able to do that for. I mean, until the sun goes down. Griffin, I don't think that this is your intention, but it does kind of sound like most of the day is taken up by 420. Because hmm. <laughs> it so- it kind of sounds like you wake up, you eat breakfast, and then when you finish breakfast, you eat lunch. Then when you finish lunch... You don't eat, you don't eat lunch immediately after breakfast, you dummy. Then what's between 9.30 and lunch? You just do second stuff bre- while it's 9.30. Breakfast. Yeah, you just okay. do stuff until you get hungry again. So, it's 9.30 when, the whole time. But when you finish the last bite of your lunch, it is then 4.20 till it's dark. <laughs> is this correct? Yeah. Wait, okay. so dark, at dark, when it gets dark, it's 7 o'clock. I can't o'clock. believe I, how much, it's fucking like 4 or 5, I lost count, times. And I can't believe you're having this much trouble. I just want to know when it's, it's dark, 7 it's, o'clock. And when the sun I, goes down. And in the newspaper, every day it's going to say sunrise is at nine thirty, and you're going to miss it. And sunset is seven all the time. It's always seven, and then you're going to watch Survivor. I now, like that it's seven because it gives you an hour until the good shows are on. Well, Except, or unless I guess you live, for you they come on at seven. They just that, come right on. Yeah, so it's so it's always like the sun's down. Turn on TV. Survivor's on, and it's what I love about all the times I've picked because they're all brilliant. Is that each one, when you look at the clock and it's 9.30 a.m., you think, I've got a lot of day left ahead of me. When you eat lunch, you're like not thinking about time because you're just really deep, 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 deep in this sandwich or soup. And by the way, in this new time, those are the only two acceptable lunch foods. And that's another thing we're going to get. 4.20 is still a lot of the day left ahead of you. And 7 o'clock, a whole lot of the night left ahead of you until 2 a.m. And it's like, oh, it's dead. It's done. I have to go to sleep right now. Now, along with dietary changes, Griffin, yeah. I do I do also anticipate that this new schedule will require employment changes because it sounds like everyone is going to have to work from home. Well, you work when it's 4.20. Well, that's until not you don't, as, but that's not how I understood that to work. But then, just to, until you feel it, okay. I feel like this is a this is a this is not, this is outside of time. I feel like when you are the were, people when are the people supposed to clean Disneyland? Because it seems two like a.m. The, okay, so they go in at two a.m. when yeah. they should be. A, so they just don't get to sleep anymore. Is that right? Probably not. Probably oh, not. Man, yeah, I mean, there's rough. lots of there's, but for everybody else. You can get a good amount of sleep in there, except they for could, the people. They could sleep 420. It sounds like 420 is kind of free, free kind period. Of free period, yeah. Free, yeah. 420 is just sort of a free skate. Go out and do yeah. whatever you want. But at 7 o'clock, you better watch Survivor and get your vittles. Because then you have to go to Disneyland and clean it. <laughs> There's no more seasonal affective disorder. Mm-hmm. There's no more wars. Okay. Because no one knows what time to show up for the war. Yeah, it's like I'm going to show up on the big theater of war front at 4:20, and then it's sort of a staggered arrival. And it's like, well, this isn't. Let's just go home. Yeah. And what then, if there was a war and nobody came? You know what I mean? Because it was 4:20. Because it was 4:20. <laughs> sounds like you guys love it, and sounds like America's going to really love this one. And also, I've got all of these watches with four times on it, and mm. they're priced to move. <laughs> um, coming soon to topodico.com. It's these coming watches. soon to movement watches. It's just sort of a big, it's four sort of sections and they're very, very Before- helpful. 